Hello and welcome to this uh, very interesting program that we are putting together for you. Uh, we are on the Trans Arunachal Drive uh, on the Mahindra Thar, the new and improved Mahindra Thar. Uh, the whole idea of uh, Trans Arunachal Drive uh, is of course to show people Arunachal. So people from all over India have come, uh, journalists, bloggers, uh, interestingly, apparently there's also a web series being shot as we are on this drive. The total drive is about uh, 2,500 kilometers. We are of course joining the drive on the first leg. Uh, we are headed now to the Pangshu Pass, which is on the Myanmar border. After that, we come back and we head towards Dong, which is uh, the place where the sun hits India first. Yes, uh, that place is there. Now also along the Chinese border. So we are going to take you on a wonderful journey. We were in Namsai, enjoyed the hospitality, stayed near a beautiful riverside camp. Uh, and uh, here we are. So Along and I are going to take you on a drive to see this unseen part of Arunachal. Welcome. Right now, I am in our country, proudly, Republic of India. I take a few steps down, that's the border stone, marked, and we are at Pangshu Pass. The height elevation, 3,727 feet. This area, where I'm standing right now, is the international border with Myanmar. And a few steps away, if you see that board there, where the guys are taking picture, it says Republic of the Union of Myanmar. But things are not cool there, but this is the place that I wanted to show you. So we are finally at uh, Pangshu Pass and uh, this is the area now the shops behind that you see is a border hut where people from Myanmar and people from our side come to I guess uh, buy and sell goods mm -hmm. and we have Ensen who runs a, a travel company out of Namsai called Manglan yeah. that yeah. goes and travels he does also does a lot of line production for Bollywood movies or uh, documentaries so, so what is the importance of this place and how far are we actually from Myanmar so we are just seven kilometers away from Myanmar. You can see this is the Lake of No Return on our left. You know, yeah, the importance of this place is uh, this, it is a very prominent presence in World War II history. So we are right, uh, uh, right standing on Steelwell Road, which starts from Lido and from uh, it has got only two person in India, runs throughout Burma and ends in Kunming in China. So this was supposed to be when the Allied forces were supposed to carry their supplies from this road and to carry all the lumbers and uh, minerals from Burma. The British they used to, they, they, the plane was all, all to, to bring it from that side to this part of So now like we have an annual festival called Pangsopas International Winter Festival. So when, uh, it's an annual event which happens every year. And the border hut what we are seeing here so government has an arrangement. So you have on 10th, 28th and 30th of every month. So the border is let open and people are allowed to cross over the border and attend the border hut, yeah. the market. And of course, uh, uh, Stillwell Road, uh, if I can say, has had a very torturous history, uh, you know, because of the troubles that went to build that road. And uh, allies went through a lot of trouble. Uh, and uh, of course in the monsoons they couldn't build but finally uh, it was not really successful for them isn't it if you look yeah. at that no, actually why uh, this place is called place of no return or the lake of no return during the time uh, it rains heavily here throughout the year and uh, during the world war ii time the malaria this one injection treatment wasn't there so most of the people the laborers the soldiers most of them died like once you are posted here so like out of 100 maybe like only 10 comes back 
so this is that's why this place is for lake of no return and actually the word meaning of in uh, thai pangsong means uh, place where people stay over like when you are traveling uh, like an, like an inspection bungalow so the word meaning is like that so exactly. this is place uh, like when people were traveling for um, for business so this is a place for people to stay over while traveling right yeah. well that's it from pangsho pass we'll continue our, our journey i'll leave you with these images from the pass so in those uh, good days come back again this little shop will be full of wares from Myanmar which you can buy.